I just wanted to show you this view, though. Like, look at this. It's awesome up here. Look at all the Argentavises. You can even see the hyena dons running wild. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark, where today I have a plan. And that plan is, is we're going to go explore the Oasis Cave. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right now, I'm taking the train over to Red Ob right now. I did get my tracks built up that way. And a little bit past it, so... Yeah, we're going to be heading out that way. I am getting good progress on the tracks right now. I'm just kind of doing this because I'm waiting for the thousands of metal I just got to finish processing. I should have a good, like, 20,000 metal by the end of the day. And that that should be, like, a good 50 tracks, I'm pretty sure. I have to double check. I can't remember exactly how much the tracks are. Yeah, we can find them. Okay, so I can probably get a- I can probably actually get a hundred tracks out of that. Actually, I think I will probably get a hundred tracks out of it. Ooh. There we go. So, we're gonna get over to Red Ob here. Alrighty, guys. We're almost here to Red Ob. So, this is probably gonna be, like, the closest it gets here, if I remember. Oh, no, we do got a little bit that starts heading up the mountain, but yeah. So we're going to kind of get over in here. This was kind of difficult. I had to make so many pillars to make this bridge just work. And again, they're only pillared on one side. Luckily, though, I am in single player, so I really don't have to worry about, like, other people deciding to break the train tracks, you know? But I think where we're going to stop the train is probably right about here. This here should do. So... I need a beaver and I need my new wyvern so I did get me a new wyvern made up here I just took my breeding pair there and uh, got him this is Thor so he does have one health mutation that is the only thing he's got and uh, his skin is a different color than all the others all the other wyverns uh, skins gray of the lightning I still haven't got the fire and poison wyverns done. That's because I needed to go, like, kill another alpha wyvern and get some milk. And especially now that I got a fridge that I can refrigerate stuff in, that's perfect. Come on, land. Oh. Also, I did add back in the monos. And they do have an arid variant. Sorry, I just noticed the Capra there. We're just, like, cleansing the area before we hop off. That's a pink Jeroboa. Okay, I got this. I want it. Level 35. Come on, it should pass out here. There we go. Oh, there's a bat! Are you attacking me? He really didn't think I would shoot him. Alright, so I, I know I'm getting sidetracked here. I just want to get me this Jeroboa because it's cute. So, yeah. I'm going to get this and then we'll go into the cave. Okay, he just got done. Okay, let's pick you up. We're good. So now I need my beaver. The reason we're popping that out is because you need a water tame to kind of get in here. And beavers are actually a water creature. So, we can do this. I just need to watch my oxygen. Oh, there we go. Oh damn, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Is there an air pocket? There is. Did I just accidentally find my way in here? I did, oh my god. I don't even know how I got in here. Oh geez, that's just perfect. But we're- this is the Oasis Cave! We're in! Castorotis, you know what? You do need some levels. 
because I am using you. Let's uh, get you like 10k health at least. I don't know what's in here. You need stamina. Most importantly, let's get your melee up. Just in case you do get attacked. But yeah, it's like... To me, this seems like the... What aberration would be if it had a desert. Or if like there was a desert version of aberration. In which I think that's what they were going for. And, uh, like, also, if you're looking in the Ark lore, like, all the Arks had an underground area, massive ones to explore. The island is the only one that I understand is, like, it's just the caves, I believe. Or they just never found it. But, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure this is big enough for me to have a... Also, yes, I am now realizing I probably should have brought Skittles. Because Skittles would have been smaller and more perfect for this. But, jeez, yeah. I should have brought Skittles. Oh, what the hell is that? Ooh! There's like an explorer note. Thor, you got this. Oh, okay, okay. I know what this is. And in the process of trying to get uh, the Dear Jane notes... I accidentally typed in one of the wrong ones, and I gave me this Bob's Tall Tale. Here, I'll show you what, what I got for those. So I got this one, and then I got number two. I don't know where this one is. I think that one's on the island. I think that there's Bo Bob's Tall Tales on the island, and I also think that there's a epilogues. So I might have to go back and redo the alpha overseer or i might just have to go do an overseer that's actually really easy with the, all my like shotgun stuff but is there like an artifact in here this is oh this is like this is like legit like aberration oh my god there's an there's a loot crate again a uh, wyvern not meant to be in here <laughs> Thor, you got this. You got this, homie. Just cling to the wall. Hey, I need your head. What do we get? Ooh, I think my other, other mantis saddle is better. Okay, Thor, you stay there. I'm going to explore. Oh, okay. It's like just... There's stuff in here. Oh, I heard it. You know what I think it is? I think it's a Prolovia. Oh, there's like even a path up here. I just now noticed it. It's like a little nook. You know what? I would so... Oh, once I get like access to element and all that on this map, once we start fighting that, I want to so build just like a little... A little... I could even do it right up in here. A little hideaway. Look at this. It's got like all these roots. To like run around. I can hear Prolovias in the cave. The one thing I'm wonder like wondering if is in here is a rumble golem. I hear a love bug. That's Thor and he's getting shot. I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm hearing, right? You good? But like, as I was saying, he's just fine. Um, but if I had, like, once I get access to tech, this area here is just like, it looks so good. I could set this up as like my own little, like, hideaway, you know? We hide away in the Oasis Cave. There's something getting attacked. I can hear it. Also, I don't know. Oh, I lost track of where the entrance is. Yeah, 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 Jerbaro. I understand that the surface is about to have a storm, but we're in a cave. Okay. Let me retrack down the entrance. I think it's just over this way, if I'm correct. No. This might be a problem. What if I'm stuck in the Oasis Cave? I don't think I'm going to be stuck in the Oasis Cave. Here's the exit. 
I found it. Okay. So then if I fall, fly straight forward, that's where I just was. And then we got... It's not really that big. I Like, somebody was telling me it's like this whole aberration zone. And it is. It's like a... It's like a biome, but it's like a mini biome. You know? And I'm betting that there's other offshoot caves that I'm not seeing there. Like, right up there. Like, ooh, what was that? Something made a sound that, like, made me think it was going to attack me. Right. Okay. Again, also, if you're going to bring a flyer in here, I suggest an Argentavis. There's definitely, like, little caves and crannies I haven't found yet. Like, this one up here. Um, I don't know if that's, like, stuff up on the surface fighting or in the cave. But, yeah. I think... You know what? I think we have time to go look through the wyvern cave as well. I don't know if there's an artifact in here. You know what I should do? Before I leave, I'm going to go search up anything of importance in the oasis cave for us to go look at. Okay, so now the tricky part here is finding the way out through the water. Because I don't know what to do here because I kind of think swim this way and then up this crystal yep and it should just be up right there should be a path yes alrighty so it's not that hard to get in and out it's kind of a straight shot you just kind of have to have two cents about where you're going also why is the Christmas music playing Alrighty, I'm also going to show you guys here what I have gotten done so far on the tracks. So, this does go over to the Wyvern Trench. And then up over and kind of halfway up the mountain there by Blue Op. So, I just want to show you this view though. Like, look at this. It's awesome up here. Look at all the Argentavises. You can even see the Hyena Dawns running wild. You can actually see a lot of hyena dons running wild. Do you see all those like little black dots? Those are hyena dons. There's also a rock golem somewhere down there, but I think he's dormant right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is he gonna pop up? I, sh I just saw him. I think I got him, but he's not gonna pop up. But yeah. Then it comes down here and we start going down the valley. As you can see, we got drops like right off the tracks, which is awesome. Just a nice view. And then sometimes this entire valley fills with fog, and it's awesome. What is that? I heard something chasing us. I didn't know if it was like a Rex or something. Now, here comes one of my iffy parts of the track. I'm not really too happy about like how many ups and downs I have in it. I kind of wish I just went straight across. I wish they had like dynamic track, you know. But again, there are some limitations. But yeah, again, it's still an amazing view. But once we start going up this here, we're gonna be going across this little like rock bridge, and it's like up, down, up, down. And there might even be rocks in the way. I'm not even sure if I cleared the path fully yet. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We just went right over it. Jeez. Never mind. I saw one rock. I was, ha I was just getting, like, it's going to stop. It didn't. But, like, as you can see, it's just up, up. Then it goes down. Then I just tried to go as straight as possible. I wish I had just gone straight as possible from the beginning. Like, even building alongside of it, but... I don't think I would have gotten the height needed to to get it up and around here like I wanted to. So we're kind of getting close to our stop now. And as you can see here, you get a nice view of the rock bridge. And now, we're going to go up and around the top of this mound mountain here. And we're going to curve out on the largest suspension bridge I've built. And as you can see, we're right here next to the Wyvern Trench. And we actually go right next to it. 
like really right next to it so we're gonna get on the straight here and then we're gonna stop the train so boom we'll pop you out because we you're all i need now to go explore this new cave i thought you were gonna fall i've had bad as you guys saw last episode i've had bad experiences with wyverns falling but like we're really close here to the what is this the north end of the wyvern trench i believe i need to go to the south end to get to the cave okay so again i'm not quite sure where it is in my time doing all my wyvern runs, I don't think I've even seen a cave entrance. So, hopefully, there's one down here. Shouldn't be too many wyverns. I'm just like kind of slowing down and looking here. Because we're getting close to the, north or the south end of the canyon here. Which I'm pretty sure that's where the cave should be. I think that's where people have been saying it is. And my Jeroboa is starting to do his little thing, so I'm thinking that there's something nearby. Or a storm coming, not something nearby. Sorry, wrong kind of creature. Um. I don't see anything that looks like a cave entrance. Okay. Maybe I should just search up at where the cave entrance is. That's probably the best. Alrighty. I got where I'm going. Okay, so you guys see how, like, these columns come down? So what we're looking for in those columns is this one where it connects to the ground. And, if I do this correctly, boom. There's the cave. Come on. God damn it. <laughs> You know what? We'll we'll hoof it for as far as we can. I don't know if there's wyverns in here. But we'll walk on foot for as far as we can. Damn. Um Okay, this might is this like an actual new cave? Like am I going to have to get an artifact? This looks like a new cave. Ooh. I should probably do a little bit more research. Okay. After about another four minutes of research, it appears this cave is pretty safe. I guess, besides the lava. So we're just kind of going to go poke our head in, I guess. And now, as you can see, we get in here and... Ooh, jeez. Lava scares me. <laughs> we got water. And that's, that's a very useful resource in a cave. Water. So. And it does kind of seem like you do got a bit of a... Bit of an area of it. So it even wraps around and down over here. Got some dino bones. And this is an explorer note. This is an oasisaur. Now this has the exact same problem as the Bob's Tall Tales. I accidentally gave myself the oasisaur explorer note. While, uh... While trying to give myself the Dear Jane. Now, I still don't know the Dear, Dear Jane codes anymore. Because since uh, Scorched Earth came out, they changed. Yay. Uh, so I might have to go back to the island and manually go get them. I thought I would just cheese it. So that way, you know, I could cheese it. <laughs> and, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to go back to the island to get them. And then this is the other side of where we just were. So if I follow the water, there's like an area up there. Is this... Is this it? No, I think I should follow the water. Something's telling me to follow the water. And you know what? Something tells me that following the water is just going to loop me back around to where I just was. Yep. But now I'm up here. Okay. You know what? This is kind of more like just a rat hole base, I guess. Or like, it's a base location. Like, for PvP. And you know what? I love that. But you also got an explorer note in here. Which is awesome. There's probably more explorer notes. I just don't see them. And... Oh, this is gonna hurt. 
No, I didn't. Okay. If I go up this way, this is the way we came from. Um, and then, pretty sure this is where that water was flowing, right? Yep. So it's just kind of a loopy loop cave. That's awesome, though. It is. Like, you have a... This would be, honestly, a really good tech base. You know, I might do that. I might... Oh, no. I, oh, you know what? I could. What if I set this up as my, like, Scorched Earth breeding sanctuary? Like, for when I do all my Scorched Earth creatures. You know, I could set this up as, like, the breeding area. And then I could have teleporters set up to teleport me around. I got access to water if I need it. And it's, it is a big enough area, I would say, to breed creatures in. This is just me, my own thoughts rambling for, like, ideas of bases I never end up building. Like, I have this idea of building a base up here, like, near the top of Blue Ob. And it's just, like, this little secluded out, like, outlip that I have, like, a good straight track running through. And the only access to it is a walk up from uh, the side that you could easily gate off. So, like, I might, you know, I might just build, like, a train stop there. Just like a stop location but i don't know like there's like bases i i like having all my stuff in one spot also i'm lost i'm pretty sure this is my way out over here yep i need to go up over here and then yeah but yeah i always i just like my base being in one spot like everything um that's why i love the island base the one i built everything is just there and it's no longer laggy like it was with the treehouse. Honestly, I, I love the treehouse base. But it has its problems. It does. Okay. tree Treehouse base does have its own problems. And. Oh, oh no. Oh. This is terrifying. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. No more jumping over lava. Wyvern, get ready. Because we need a quick extract. Because there's probably wyverns waiting at the door. Okay. Boom. That was actually pretty fun. That cave was just small. The oasis cave was a little bigger. You know what? I could totally see, like, in the Oasis Cave, you having multiple, like, mini bases down in there. Like, you could definitely have multiple people living in there. And, like, they only see each other every now and again. And that'd be even good in a PvE base. Imagine, like, setting that up as, like, the, the PvE cluster, like, main location. I, here, like, when I first played Ark and, like, things started, I played on servers where, like, they had a starter areas like with public indie forges and all that you just had to remove all your stuff out of it and then there were always people that built their bases kind of like their starter bases kind of close they were more or less like just dino storage huts you know that's what i thought was awesome also where am i going my train's over here all righty so i'm gonna land thor right here and boom now originally the plan for this guy's name was gojira and uh well, when he came out with a mutation, I just decided for Thor. So, but anyways, if you have found yourself at any point today liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, do remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications upon when I post. And one more thing, I am currently running a membership goal for the channel. So if we are able to get 10 YouTube channel members, we will be opening up an ARC server. All right, it's only $1.99. We'll talk about what map we'll have once we get closer to the goal. But yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshai Mori, signing off.